In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the text area. Let's create a new project. Okay, the first thing we need to do is make sure we can um, add the JavaFX uh, library. Project structures libraries. Under Java library. Okay, I will change to um, Java FX SDK 15.0.1. Now our project can locate Java FX library. Let's open with the same builder. Make sure you remember the location of a controller class. I will change to um, anchor pane, so let's remove and anchor pane. The size is 600 by 400. Okay. Let's look for text area. Text areas can add um, multiple lines of text. Text field can add one line and the one button. Let me enlarge it. Let's say, let's add um, some comments. Here I will say TF comments for button, change to OK. FX ID here, PT and OK. On action handle BTN OK. Text area TA comments. Make sure you add a controller. Okay, there's nothing there. Simple controller. So we have. Um, Create a field. One more. And then uh, handle PT in OK. We create the methods. So make sure have sample uh, controller is there. Again, we change to uh, private. Let's add um, FX annotation. So handle the BTN OK. The first one is we have um, TF. Comments. We will use get text. Once we leave text input, 
then we can say TA comments. Set text. Build project. Okay, successful. Add configurations. Here in PM options, model paths. The path is where you install JavaFX library. Add models. You need to add at least two JavaFX controls and JavaFX FXML. Let's try to learn it. So text field we can add one line of uh, text and over OK. Now it's added to text area. Hi there. OK. It seems like um, it's adding but it's also overrided. So let's um, comment. Line number 18. We are using exactly the same thing TF comments. Get text. This time, uh, TA comments. Instead of using set text we are going to use append text as it is it's going to append the text and let's say hello world click OK hi there it will be added to your text it's added it there, okay. So let's add a new line. So set context will be added with a new line, okay. This way it will be more practical. Okay, next line will be added to next line. Okay, next message. Added to next line and so on. Okay, so that was the idea. This will um, add a text, but uh, also will override it. But if you use a pen text, it's going to um, Append the text with uh, multiple lines of text. That's what you're going to get it at the end. So that's all. Thank you.